यार कैसे छोड़ सकती हूँ मैं उसे माना क्यों मेरी किस्मत में नहीं पर मेरे दिल में तो है Hey there fellow video enthusiast. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the exciting world of video editing. Today I have an awesome tutorial lined up for you all. We'll be diving into Adobe Premiere Pro, one of the most powerful tools in the editing arsenal, and I'll show you a cool technique to crop a layer into different shapes and effortlessly set stroke effects. In this tutorial we also cover how you can also use drop shadow under those layer. Out of all the tutorials so far on YouTube, this is going to be the easiest and 100% effective way to do the job. At first, open Adobe Premiere Pro on your computer. Set project name if you want. Now I'm going to pick my main background footage. Drag it on timeline. Then I'm going to pick the video, which one I want to use as layer. Drag the video up on your main background. Let's go to the main task now. Now go to effects option from here. Search here alpha adjust. Drag the effect on the layer. From the effect control panel, click on this rectangle icon under alpha adjust effects. Now increase the masking area as your demand. For maintain the accurate angle, hold shift key on your keyboard when you'll try to resize it. But what do you want? If you want to reduce or increase the distance from any one side, as an example, I want to reduce the area from bottom. For this, tap once on the screen, then drag your mouse to select those two points below. Now tap on any point from those, then drag it up. And keep in mind that when you try to resize the area, you must have to hold shift key from your keyboard. Feathers amount should be zero for sharp edges. Mark on four of all from here. I am carefully demonstrating each step at a slow pace to ensure your complete understanding. I hope that those who are eager to learn will not find it tedious. You can reposition the layer from here. and this is how you can crop any elements after that go to effects option again from here then search paint bucket drag the effect on the layer select alpha channel option from fill selector and select stroke from here boom see stroke has been made now you can increase its amount from here let's change its color now it's made regular rectangle shape with stroke but if you want to use rounded rectangle as you can see in the example when the video starts then what you should do you have nothing to do special just increase mask expansion amount from here see the rectangle get rounded and this is how you can crop as rounded rectangle shape with stroke now reposition it then we will try to set drop shadow under the layer For add drop shadow under the layer, go to effects option again, then search drop shadow. Okay. 
Drag the effect on the layer. Tweak all the options as per your needs. You can also change shadows color from here. And this is the full process of today's topic. In the similar way, you can crop as any shape. Then you can add stroke and drop shadows also on your selected layer elements. Let's crop as a circle. If you want to learn, then you should continue the video. Drag the layer footage on timeline as usual. Then do all as before. In this time, select Circular Icon. It's also known as Ellipse Tool. Now resize the area by holding Shift key. Now do all as before. Make sure that mask feather's amount is zero. Let's have a preview. Perfect. Select Adaptic High Bitrate for better resolution at the time of exporting. And for today, that's all. Subscribe us for more. Remember, tech passion fuels us. Join our geeky community for an immersive tech experience.